the general public uh, should hold our politicians accountable for saying one thing when they're not in power and doing another when they come into power. There's a sort of rhetorical trick they quite often use to say, oh, this was something I did in the past, it's something I regret, I wouldn't advise anyone else to do it, so they somehow distance themselves from their own person. And the public puts up with that hypocrisy. They get it when you point it out to them, but I don't know why they put up with it. So it may be that President X or President Y has smoked cannabis at some point in their lives or used other illegal drugs. But when they get to the top, they are going to oppress others for using illegal drugs. That's an idea that never would have crossed the mind of any of our founding fathers. If anyone had stood up at a constitutional convention and said, hey, let's ban alcohol, that idea wouldn't have gotten very far. And it wouldn't have gotten very far, not because they were a bunch of drunks, but because the idea that the federal government had that degree of power over a sovereign individual was anathema to what they were trying to create in forming a new country. It's essential to make decisions in public policy wherever possible based on the actual evidence that there is for something. How else are you going to make policy? Are you going to base it on some sort of faith? <laughs> or a wish that something will happen just because you want to? What are you going to do? Stand and sort of scream in a spot until you get your way like a small child? And that's effectively what some of our politicians seem to be doing. For six months I worked as a policy advisor at the highest levels of the British Civil Service, working to advise those senior people on issues of drugs and crime. And the aim of that was to get an academic in there to help, them, help give them some evidence that they could base their policies on. But I found that was actually quite a difficult job to do. Those civil servants told me that they had learnt that it's not helpful to use evidence which challenges the dominant way of thinking that's already structuring those policies. It's much easier to take the evidence that supports what you're already doing and use that to justify the continuation of your existing policy.